As the world ages, as populations grow, as lifestyles change, osteoporosis becomes a bigger and bigger global health problem. IOF was created in 1998 to bring together scientists and healthcare professionals, national osteoporosis societies, leading companies in the pharmaceutical, financial, communications, food and nutrition sectors. They form a global partnership to create a world without osteoporotic fractures. An effort based on the latest science, research and best clinical practice. Osteoporosis is serious, but the good news is an individual can reduce the risk of fracture. Osteoporosis can be easily diagnosed and effectively treated. Here are just some of the activities of IOF and its members around the world to defeat the silent epidemic of osteoporosis. I was first confronted with osteoporosis when my mother was diagnosed with it. Before I was diagnosed, I don't think I'd ever heard of a man having osteoporosis. It came as a complete shock to me that men even have it. I really don't know anything about osteoporosis. I thought because my mother had it, that was her something that had happened to her, I, it never crossed my mind it would happen to me. I got a bone density test and found out I had osteoporosis too. Each person is finally the only responsible for his own health. I think we, we need here to draw attention to the vital issue uh, uh, in the lives of millions of our citizens, namely this question of osteoporosis. People are not living as healthy lifestyle as they had been previously. Lack of exercise, increased smoking, increased drinking, these kind of things all uh, increase risk for osteoporosis. They call the bone disease osteoporosis the silent epidemic, while 20... There's a bone disease affecting one in three women and one in eight men yeah. over 50. And we have to get the cost of medicines down. Bone disease osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. <laughs> 
one in three women will get osteoporosis. If you could see the effects of osteoporosis, you might take as much care of your bones. Anyone, irrespective of age, can develop this condition. It could happen to you. It takes years to develop osteoporosis. And just one simple movement to discover that you've got it. But it's easy to find out if you're at risk and get treatment. Take the IOF One Minute Osteoporosis Risk Test. Several people in my family, they have osteoporosis. I think the women have to take more responsibility about their bones. Enjoy life, eat well, and bon appétit. I exercise regularly, I gave up smoking. Uh, in fact, I probably feel better now than I've ever felt. Visit the International Osteoporosis Foundation's website and take the risk test. Go to the doctor, have a bone density test and then follow the program your doctor gives you. Give osteoporosis the red card. Move it or lose it. Bon appétit. Hey, every time I'm working out, I'm thinking strong muscles, good bones. You just have to move it or you're going to lose it. Healthy bones are the foundation to a healthy body. Your Majesty, we are very pleased and honored to announce your agreement to become the IOF's patron. Together we can stop the pain, suffering and cost resulting from osteoporosis. Together we can build a world of people with strong bones. Thank you for your support. Thank you.